Before I got married to Freddie, okay, you guys know how I talk about pre yes. uh-huh. right? Uh-huh, Cali yes. girl. Okay, so I was a side chick once. And what? I, and I knew I was his side chick. He was my side dude. And there was no responsibilities attached. And I had a good time. I That's did. honest. And I'm being real. And you can judge me if you want. And I wasn't messing with the married man. Well, thank you. Ain't thank you. Good. It was so much work being a side yeah, chick. Thank you. Thank <laughs> oh you. Oh, my God. Yes, it was a lot of work. So no. you had a man no. and he had a woman. Yes. And you guys were messing together. Yeah. And That's I think. That's two sides and a double. Yeah. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> Burgers and it's double, yeah. two double fries. But I, I understand now why some women would actually be down to say yes because you got no responsibilities. You don't have to be that emotional one. What You're not the one being lied to. Mm-hmm. So you're not the one that has to worry about but that. Amy, what if you but start falling in love, though? But yeah. see, that's how I knew. I had a clamp on my heart and I didn't let any of my emotions get into that because once they cheat on you, a, they're going to cheat on somebody and else. And I'm like that with my I have a question. I- this is an old clip found on The Real. Although I wanted to put it in this compilation just to show how many of these females that a lot of people idolize, men and women, male and females, and they're just some any dusty side chick or used to be a side chick. It's quite common. Not a lot of people will actually openly admit it, but a lot of people will quietly do it top five reasons why I was so comfortable being a side chick. So I understand this is a very taboo topic because everyone hates side chicks, right? Wrong. Your man loves them. So listen up. And before y'all get in my comments talking all that smack, please understand you couldn't squeeze a solid fuck out of me. Not a one. I don't care. This is my truth. So y'all know I did recently go back to therapy. So I was giving my therapist the run now, you know, chopping it up. She goes on to say that I'm addicted to the highs that he provides for me in the moment. I said, hmm, so it got my wheels a turning. What that tells me is when a female is easily bored in a relationship or is always seeking for spontaneous moments, excitement, fun, you know, all these key words that a lot of females use just know that they can easily just be a side chick because of the excitement that they get from it that's why it's actually a big red flag when a lot of females look for those things in a relationship look for fun excitement i don't want to be bored i need spontaneous moments those are red flags reason number five convenience of the relationship usually we don't want your man for real it's like we borrow him for a good time not a long time so i didn't mind borrowing him and giving him back yes there is a lot of truth to what she's saying a lot of guys do always think that every side chick wants to be with that man when it could just be convenient it could just be spare the moment it could just be for bed but then you will have females who are actually pursuing that man for for a relationship My point being is, there are loads of different reasons why females choose to be side chicks. But it all goes back to one reason, they all have problems. Number four, I actually enjoyed the single life. I have trust issues and I have commitment issues. I don't desire a relationship um, at this time in my life. Number three, the perks. If you are not getting perks and you are a side chick, then you're doing it so wrong the shopping dates it was the gifts it was the love bombing you know it's just so romantic every time we lived up right it's all because i was a good little side chick and i knew my role i can't tell you how many times while i sat there while this man was on the phone with his girlfriend and didn't make a peep because why would i break up a happy home why would i want to do that who are you going to go to when you leave her it's not me i don't want you a lot of females go with this logic that it's the man that breaks the home it's the man that let the female in it isn't the female's fault although i disagree with that now if the female didn't know then you know that's just bad luck that you found yourself in that type of 
predicament but if you are actively aware of what the man is doing then you are part of breaking that home if a house is on fire and you come in with petrol you have also made the fire worse it doesn't matter if there was already fire there you chose to contribute but that's something a lot of these females don't like to take accountability for as it truly reveals how toxic egotistical selfish and the amount of problems they have number two very very rare that we argue or have a disagreement reason number one the schlong is schlonging that's pretty self-explanatory TikTok, this video is for educational and informative purposes only and not meant to bully or belittle anyone. Public service announcement. If I'm currently talking to a guy that turns out to be your boyfriend, please could you do me a favor and do not message my phone. Do not contact me and come to me as a woman to woman. I do not give a fuck respectfully. Because at the end of the day, when me and Bob was talking, he told me that he was a single person so if he's single and i'm single then both of us were entitled to speak to each other now if you're messaging me telling me that i'm talking to your boyfriend and you would like me to stop i'm here to tell you that i will not stop you know for the simple fact that bob told me that he was a single pringle he told me he had no girlfriend so that means you need to talk to bob and ask bob why he's not being faithful to you babe i owe you zero fucking loyalty i don't know you and you know i am a girl's girl and i really do feel so for girls that go through the phases of a man cheating on them i've been there done that i've had my fair share man have cheated on me treated me like a dog you know but at the end of the day it's not my problem i mean this is how a lot of side chicks think you know you do come across uh, different characteristics and they all come to this conclusion that it's never their problem it's not their problem it's not their fault and whatnot and whatnot and go deal with it with the man and, and that's what you get with side chicks you know and which is why a lot of these guys do enjoy their company because that's the energy they bring they don't care about what who the man is what the man is doing his morals his characteristics because they're as low as him they don't care as much as he don't care what i'm saying is you can't expect anything more from 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 a side chick if you really thought you was going to expect or receive some type of respect or empathy then you have to really look at the female and her behavior everybody has to go through it in life right so if your boyfriend's texting me and if your boyfriend's talking to me baby and you see us in public together please have the energy for your man do not have the energy for me because at the end of the day if the dick is good and i'm enjoying the treatment it's not going to stop me from talking to him that's a you and him problem that's not a me and that's not a me and you problem baby don't come to me as a fucking woman to woman because i don't want to deal with no bitch that has a boyfriend when i was talking to him he was fucking single so that has nothing to do with me okay so pick up the argument with your so-called man because i can't guarantee you that in the next three to five business days i won't probably be on a, i'll probably be on a date with him babe okay just a public service announcement all right Leata. another reason why i say sisterhood doesn't matter girls girls don't matter i'll be honest with you even brotherhood or brother to brother all of that doesn't matter do you know what matters is who the person is what does the person believe in what is the person's morals that they follow what did the person learn what's the person issue you know too many times we expect so much from people except for what they are expect who they are expect their behavior expect what they did in the past to happen again that's the only thing people should expect from people nothing more nothing less there's no this inner sisterhood inner brotherhood none of that exists and she's letting you know that because you know what these side chicks they're different and it's like expecting a thief not to steal from you y'all can say what y'all want but i'm much happier being a side chick i ain't gotta stress i ain't gotta worry about where the fuck this man is at bitch 
Because if he ain't with me, he with you. Especially if I'm doing my job right. How I know he with you? Bitch, because that's where I sent him back to. Bills stay paid. Ain't got to worry about no type of financial barriers. Ain't got to wake up to no stinking breath and him farting. They got a doodle stinking up the bathroom. None of that. He do that shit at your house. Then the females be trying to get mad because I'm dealing with they niggas. It's like, girl, I'm helping you. Your dude was a, he's a fucking sleazeball, baby. I don't want your fucking sleazeball to myself, bitch. Your motherfucking dog was on a prowl, bitch. That dog was on a loose before he started dealing with me. Bitch, I'm the reason why he come back home and be a family man happily unhappily. But yeah, it just feel good to not have to worry about a nigga cheating on you. All the shit that I see, bitch, I wish the fuck I would. And you gotta think, baby girl, you mad at me, but I got secrets that you don't even fucking know. I know the shit that you don't know. I'm around the friends that know you. That's sitting there playing in your face. But you mad at me. Like I'm the bitch that you married. I would rather be a side chick. It is what it is. And I like my position. And I get to dress corporate. Like my corporate nigga. I mean my corporate husband. I mean when you really look at these side chicks. You really need to ask yourself that. Why is someone so comfortable to be played with because it's not just the the woman in the relationship that's being played you're also being played as the man doesn't see you anything more than a concubine he doesn't see you anything more than just someone that he can just shack up with and leave and the only reason why he treats you and gives you the gifts is it's a bit of his own form of prostitution as well he's paying you for a good time he's paying you for your time or well, why would you be there you're there for the perks you're there for even the d whatever it is you're there for whatever he has to give and without those things would he really be there my point is a lot of these side chicks thinks that they're in a better position and really you're not he's actually showing you how less he thinks of you and you're just getting caught up with how it feels I just remember the time that I dated a married man and I didn't know. So let me tell you. Okay, so I hate my degree. Like, I hate my degree. It's nursing. And I don't want to step foot in a hospital ever, ever after graduation. So I was like, how do I make sure I have some, like, feasible ideas about what I want to do with my education when I finish school? And I was like, oh, yeah, LinkedIn. Let me build up my connections. Let me, like, network. Let's see what there is. And then obviously, if you've been on LinkedIn, you know where this is going. So I make all the connections in the industries that I am already in. I make connections with like people who like work in different types of nursing, different nursing avenues. I'm like, this is good. I'm consistently posting. And then obviously I start getting like, you know, the friend request situation. And now let's call this man Jack. Jack, obviously I can see from his profile immediately, he's in like marketing and advertisement and he owns like a consulting group. I'm like, okay, what do you want from me? Because I don't know nothing about marketing or advertising. But still, I was like, let me be nice. He might know, he might have like an orthopedic surgeon friend who needs a nurse surgery assistant. Like, who knows? No, no, Jack, Jack wanted to know about me. Jack said, how old are you? You're very smart. You're really intelligent. You're also very beautiful. And I was like, mm. Hmm, are we on Hinge or are we on LinkedIn? Where's the professionalism? Where's the decorum? And sometimes it's good to have shame, you know? Just have a little bit of shame, brother. Anyway, he was like, oh, this feels very formal. Like, I would love to connect with you on like a more like casual base. And I was like, okay, cool, it's your Insta. He's like, oh no, he's like, he's like, I'm 15 years older than you. I don't do social media. And I was like, okay, fine. A lot of females like to act dumb. In this case, she was happily acting dumb and she actually was interested in this guy she probably saw his profile what he does and seemed to be interested in the type of man he was maybe he was making money you know whatever about him she was interested and whatever conversation i had it was clear that it was nothing business related it was clear it was nothing about networking it started to become more intimate and which is why she already accepted that and decided to continue that so she knew where it was going but she wants to act like she didn't so 
I gave him my number. Stupid me, but I was just bored. Anyway, he took my number and um, he was just an asshole. Like this man, what? Uh, there was like a week where he was like, oh, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? And he kept asking and I kept telling him, I'm going to a funeral. Not once did he ask, whose funeral? Are you okay? Who died? Nothing. He didn't care. He's like, oh, okay. Anyway, so I, that's like a bit of like a red flag. I mean, the fact that he's 15 years older, decided to use LinkedIn as a form of Tinder. This was the first red flag that I saw. Anyway, at one point, he finally admits that he is in a process of separation. And in Australia, you have to be separated for a period of time before the court can allow you to get divorced. And he only told me this because I jokingly said, so how are you this old and single? Like, what's wrong with you? Lo and behold, because I have his number now, when I went onto my private Instagram, he came up as recommended. This man just celebrated a wedding anniversary. What separation? What divorce? You're still married. And I did go on one day with him, but like... So yeah, older, younger, Melbourne is just a cesspool of men. As I said before, she already accepted that it had nothing to do with her degree or networking or trying to change a career it became a man that she's interested in if the man wasn't we don't know how this man looks and we don't know what his situation is but i will tell you this she was considering and did consider being his side chick if there was more perks to it which is why she searched him up which is why she went on a date to see what she can get for me she didn't get anything from it but a married man that just wants to release whatever lustful desires he has a lot of these females will willingly be a side chick will willingly be a concubine if you just give them something to convince them to be one morning guys i know some of you name is on the half when you need to get and stuff but before you do that hear me out now there's nothing nicer than dating a married man yeah i know yes okay okay let me rephrase ne? there's nothing nicer than dating a married man that respects his wife obviously if he respected her enough he wouldn't be cheating but i need to respect like we are begging to win yaki we ask now you can't just talk crap about her you understand you can't just you know do as you please i am not doing ha as part of that I don't know where she got this logic from. Honestly, females will make their own logic to m give them a reason. A lot of females will make their own logic or be delusional or want to accountability to give them a reason to do what they know they're not supposed to do. And this is one of them. There's no way on earth that you really think that a man who has a side chick or cheated on his girlfriend or wife, he respects and honors that woman. But she will say that to give her a reason to be a side chick. All of this is just a reason for her to be comfortable, to be somewhere she knows she's not supposed to be. As you know what i made a decision um some time long ago to break up with my married uh, boyfriend because i was feeling guilty but let me tell up until today guys yo from the respect how he respected me how he communicated with me you know i would complain about something something ends up like you know like why he's like he was like a war Whatever I throw at him, guys, he wouldn't fall, he wouldn't back up, he would just stand there. Yo, I would complain about work, I would complain about this and that and this and that, and complain about us, and complain about him, and complain about us, complain about everything, guys. Ne? And he would just stand there and listen and listen and listen. I'd be like, okay, I hear you, my love, but how about you think of it like this? Yo! Oh my, my Linda. Yeah! Hmm! And he had such like ube ube mame like guys ne. I would tell him something now and he'd be like, yo, there's a dress that I saw. It's so nice, babe, but it's so expensive. Hands up, and he and tell me bonus and what to say. Man, over. Within a few days, we'll be like, click it, Iman. How? What is this for, babe? Okay, that dress. 
I wanted to buy something up in Lenine, which was very expensive. It was very chane. Then I wanted to buy this because it's in dollar. But you get it month end. Month end. Long, long. Ah! I didn't talk to my girlfriend. I didn't even ask. I didn't even remind him. I didn't, guys. I didn't do anything. Girlfriend allowance came. G. Now, don't be fooled. She never felt guilty. I think what happened was is she probably started to catch feelings she knew this wasn't gonna go anywhere although she's still infatuated by him she's definitely gonna go back if he chooses to just convince her as she already seems quite comfortable but the real reason why she is not pursuing that man anymore the way she was in the beginning is because she was catching feelings but she knew her place which is a side chick so all that feelings weren't gonna go anywhere so what i'm saying is she'd rather leave in a good note than a bad note sometimes a lot of these side chicks will fight for that relationship and some will just let it go but they are always gonna be there and she's one of them <laughs> okay guys so this is for my side chicks name Guys, if you know that guy has a wife, ne? rub off your makeup on his shirt by mistake. Leave your lipstick under his car seat for the wife to find. Do not be boring, Sana Luami. Let's fix the country. Tomorrow is Abangwe. What makes being a side chick very spontaneous for a lot of these females is trouble trouble and the inconsistency is what excites them it's the being so close to being caught but not being caught it's the close to getting what you want but not getting what you want and feeling like you're about to get it but you don't get it or you need to do a little extra to think you're gonna get it and that's why you have these type of females that will leave lipsticks will leave hair perfume underwear i don't know but they will instigate more drama because that's what they enjoy and it's also like a challenge to them can they be able to get that man that they're sleeping with so a lot comes with it that is messed up but they like i'm a side chick of course i know you but you don't know me i'm a side chick of course i hold my breath like oh <gasps> when my boyfriend is talking to you I'm a side chick, of course I'm not an understanding girlfriend like you. Now when I want money, I want my Nindia Ifuna Imali. I'm a side chick, of course I get all the princess treatment. I'm a side chick, of course I never fight with my man. Go sweet, go sweet Nikad. I'm a side chick, of course our boyfriend talks to me about you. I'm a side chick, of course I'm not allowed to date anyone else. I'm a side chick. Of course, our men never ask me for favors. Instead, I'm a side chick. Of course, I don't get stressed. I'm a side chick. Of course, I can call my men whenever I'm a side chick. Of course, I can call my men whenever I'm a side chick. Of course, I can call my men whenever I'm a side chick. Of course, I have pictures with my men that I can't even post. I am not saying all men cheat. I'm not saying all men have a side chick. What I am saying is their responsibility goes back to the woman and the type of man that she decides to be with. You just have to, this is why a lot of men say that, you know, when it comes to the type of guy that you want, a lot comes with it and you got to accept that. Well, that's what you're going to deal with. And you can't mingle all men into that because that's what you wanted. My point is, a lot of these females do go for certain type of guys. And a lot of females expect those guys to be loyal to them. And that's where you all say all men cheat. No, it's all the men that you want cheat. And guess what? Those are the men that side chick wants. I'm going to set this record straight with you wives that have lost your husbands. First, I'd like to say I extend my sincere condolences. I'm so sorry for your loss. Second, fuck you, okay? Somewhere back there, you guys have been listening to these women that don't even have no damn man 
tell you that you can control what happens with him and his other women when he dies. Ma'am, the only control you have is the hospital. You won't allow us to come into the hospital to see him in his death. Who gives a fuck? Who want to see him all broke down and tore up in a hospital? No, ma'am. Don't nobody give a fuck about that. You can have it. It's all yours. You can't control a funeral home. You can't control a funeral. And you can't control what happens after he's gone. Okay. You got your insurance policy. You have your family. Go ahead. Live your life. You know. The issue this female is having that a lot of side chicks have is when they actually are treated like a side chick. It's one thing when the guy is cozied up next to you and giving you princess treatment and making you feel like he's you're actually his girlfriend or his wife-to-be or his second wife until you actually are treated like the side chick. And that's what this female's talking about is when the relationship ends or the man passes away, etc, etc, and now the woman doesn't want you around the funeral, the woman doesn't want you around the family, the woman doesn't want you here, you're being treated like a side chick, you are inconvenient to them and their family. The only convenient thing you were was to that man and his below body part. That's the, as much as convenient as you was. You want to be treated like something or someone you ain't. You guys are together, it lasts four years, you're invested. Was there ever a part of you that was like, when are you leaving your wife? No. Never. Never. It, ever. Do you think that made the relationship better because that expectation was never there? Yes. So much better. And that's the thing that made me, I think, another thing, he was also grooming me in a way. But that I, I learned from there that um, it's better if you tell yourself from the beginning that I'm the side chick and I'm going to stay here. I'm not here to remove the wife. So what do you mean grooming? Like he would tell me, listen, Pinky, don't do this. When I'm with her, don't call me. Like, you know, like he's teaching me what, in a yeah. certain way. Like, you are the other girlfriend, but just be careful. Don't do this. Don't do that. Females like to throw around words for anything, like grooming. This female was never groomed. A female that chooses to be a side chick, you aren't being groomed. You aren't being abused. No one is manipulating you. You're not a child. You're not a minor. This is a choice that you made for yourself. You know this is a bad decision, but you like making bad decisions, which is why you're here. Instead of just openly being honest about the fact that you enjoyed being his side chick for whatever reason, as we've heard plenty of reasons, no, she wants to describe it as being groomed. Now, if this even, even if she was young, a young woman knows being a side chick is wrong, but you choose to be. There's no other way of looking at it. Grooming in this scenario doesn't exist. And I learned that, okay, this is cool, but obviously I must play my cards right. Like I can't post it. Uh, all of those type of things. Like you have to be careful, the wife, the wife. Then I learned, oh, the wife, you need to protect the wife mm. and respect the wife in order for the man to be happy so that the side chick is cool. Because yeah. if the man is angry, I mean, if the wife is angry, the man is angry, you also get <laughs> up. So rather, uh, it's safe to just stay in your position and stay in your lane. Yes, you know, like, yes, yeah, yes. basically. So what, it wasn't a formal conversation, it's just things you would tell you yeah, along the way. Along the way, yeah. The thing is, a lot of these females, some, but a lot of them don't make it very clear that there's a place that you need to be in. And you have to serve the man and the woman the husband and the wife by knowing your place you're not serving yourself they think they are because or they will say they are to convince themselves that they're in a very comfortable place but the only person you're really serving is those two in their marriages by being loyal to the man and respecting his boundaries by keeping the dirt to yourself because if anything happens between those two marriages then guess what you are going to be in a situation you don't want to be so it's not really so it's not centered around you it's actually centered around the marriage i'm not the girlfriend but i'm the side chick Real baby, they cry. But side chick, we know they cry. If you be side chick, say hello. <laughs> I'm your hostess, Reminate Princess. These are my last thoughts. I like to look at different things that females do, and this 
compilation was inspired from the other video that I did and I wanted to know or I wanted to be able to show what a lot of these side chicks, concubines mind is really at what they really think why do they like it and you know what actually makes them comfortable to be the side chick and who is it actually serving why is it so great and why is it not great and a lot of them they will give you and show you what they want you to see so everyone else can think that they're having a great time when there's more behind happening that really will tell you it's not all that it seems to be so let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye